Last weekend, both candidates for governor came to Western Massachusetts to give one final pitch for the reason that they should be elected. Voters who have not already cast their ballot will do so on Tuesday, November 8th. The Democratic nominee is Maura Healey, the current Attorney General for Massachusetts, and the Republican nominee is Jeff Deal, former Massachusetts representative in the state legislature. As of Friday afternoon, Healey is up 57% in the polls. We went to both candidates' rallies to interview both Healey and Deal about how their governorship will affect the lives of students in Massachusetts. So what are you going to do to make sure that education is prioritized in Massachusetts when you're governor? I have two daughters, 21 and 16. Uh, one's in college now, but I've seen them go through public school here in Massachusetts. I know where we do a good job. I know where we have room for improvement and making sure that, first of all, the funding's there, but also parental choice when it comes to education. Review of the material so parents know what the kids are being taught and also making sure that if the kids aren't getting the education they deserve, parents can move them to public school, I'm sorry, private school, or even homeschool if they want. Well, funding education is so foundational, so important, and I'm going to make sure we do that, supporting our educators, supporting our schools by modernizing our school buildings, providing wraparound services like more mental health services in our schools, so, so important, especially as we've come through COVID. So it sometimes feels like in Massachusetts, Western Mass is kind of left out of the conversation, and it's Eastern Mass where all the big policies are being made. How can you ensure that it's all going to be equal if you're governor? I totally get that sentiment because I live outside the 495 Beltway, and quite honestly, we get tired of the fact that Beacon Hill seems to focus on Boston only. Uh, so I kicked off our campaign in Hadley, Massachusetts, Western Mass, as a message to Western Mass that I care about the entire state, from the north to the south, the Cape and Islands, all the way to uh, Pittsfield and North Adams. We're going to make sure that no... Uh, no region is left out. You know, we've got an incredible state that has incredible resources, agriculture in central Massachusetts, the old mills of western Massachusetts that are being turned into expensive condos, but we need to make sure that there's the jobs out there. We need to move some of the businesses that are in Boston and make it so gentrified out into central and western Massachusetts. And I think creating east-west rail is a way to unlock some of those areas and, and move those businesses out there. I think there's a lot of things that we can do to help western Massachusetts that haven't been done yet. Well, as I've said, I've started my campaign uh, for Attorney General and indeed for Governor in Western Mass. The 413 means a great deal to me. I want to make sure it gets the funding that it needs and also that it's represented in our agencies, in our boards, in our commissions. Uh, that really matters to me as well. I spent a lot of time in Western Mass. I will continue to spend a lot of time in Western Mass. And you know, I've come to know Mass Western Mass in so many ways, especially having an office right in Springfield as Attorney General. And the, the, the needs of the region are, are unique and I'm somebody I think who understands that and will be there to, de to deliver. Thanks for watching and make sure you have a plan in action for voting on Tuesday the 8th. If you need to check your voter registration or find where your polling place is, see vote.org. See you Friday.